The Prophet ﷺ loved Fatima radiallahu anha so much that any time the Prophet left Medina or returned to Medina, the first home that he visited after the house of Allah was Fatima radiallahu anha. I asked the fathers here today, when you walk home, who do you greet first? Who do you hug first? I asked the parents today, you'll find a lot of parents who are so happy of their soccer practice for their sons, the graduation for their sons. They're always talking about their sons. Ibn Hakada, Ibn Hada, resident, the resident, MashaAllah. We're raving about them. MashaAllah. My son, my son, my son. The Prophet says, My daughter, my daughter, my daughter. And until you don't give the same equal respect, you haven't built the confidence in your children. And if you want your daughter to be like Fatima, you have to embed that character of Rasulullah that gives us self-respect, self-confidence to our young sisters who are, who are raised to be independent. Just educating them doesn't make them secure. You have to parent them to make them feel special. They don't need anyone's support. And that's what Fatima anha was from childhood. The Prophet ﷺ will leave the house or leave the city of Medina and return. Qadima Rasulullah one day the Prophet ﷺ, Tiburani narrates his narration, he returned from a journey and he went straight. He would go to the masjid, he prayed two rakat salah, then he would visit the house of Fatima. Anha. And at this moment, Fatima anha was so eager to meet her. The father, her father, she was standing outside the house to greet the greatest human. And as the Prophet ﷺ arrives to visit his beloved daughter, she's weeping. She's crying. He says, Ma you bikiki ya Fatima, why are you crying? What makes you cry? To have this type of relationship with your child, when your child sees you in distress, they can feel it. Today, parents are worried, children, like, I got my own worries. You don't know what I'm going through. Someone on Instagram didn't like my post. That's our biggest worry. Our biggest worry is what people are thinking about us. What community members are doing. They're buying a better car or a better house. We're not miserable because we don't have. We're miserable because we think people have more than us. We're miserable because we're not happy to see other people happy. And we're complaining about this. We don't even have time to see our parents who are going through struggles. And Fatima radiallahu anha sees her father struggle. This is how dear and close he was to, she was to Rasulullah She started to weep. And says, Ma'ayyub yubkiki ya Fatima. What's making you weep? He says, Ya Rasulullah, qad shahiba launuk, shahiba launuk, wa khlaq laqa thiyabuk. Look at your face. Look at your clothes. This is not the father that I remember. You can't even be recognized. Your clothes are patched. Your face is full of dust. You've gone through so much struggle in life. And then the Prophet sallallahu says, to, her beloved, uh, to his beloved daughter, لا تغشى يا بنية فإن الله بعث أباك لا يبقى على ظهر الأرض بيت مدن ولا وبر إلا أدخله الله كلمة الإسلام بعز عزيز أو ظل ظليل Oh my daughter, don't worry for me. Don't fear any loss for your great father. Allah has sent your father for a mission and a job and a task that Allah promises that it will reach corners and far aspects of life. Every human will hear of this. Look at here in America. If you take a picture and you show this picture to overseas in some country and you talk about this level of dedication in the States is a prediction of the Prophet Sallallahu prophecy that time will come, the Islam will reach corners of the world. Don't worry about that. Everyone will hear of the beauty of Islam. 